Hello friends, this video on quadratic equations part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1. Let's take the scenario we have to represent this mathematically. So the question says John and Jivanti have 45 marbles together. This guy is John and this lady is Jivanti. John and Jivanti have 45 marbles together. So if I assume and let me read the question first. Both of them lost four, 5 marbles each and the product of the number of marbles they have now is 124. We would like to find how many marbles they had to start. So let's do one thing. Let's assume that John had X marble. Correct. If John had X marble, then Jivanti had how many marbles? Let's suppose it has Y marbles. Now the first thing is say that John marble plus Jivanti marble is 45. Right? This is the statement. So I can say that y is equal to 45 minus x. So instead of writing y, I write 45 minus x. Because it will be only one variable. Correct? It's easy to have equations in one variable because if you have more variables, you have to solve more. So if John is having x variable, x marbles, Jivanti is having 45 minus x marvel. That is the starting. Now, both of them lost 5 marvel each. So if you subtract 5 from this, this becomes x minus 5 because John has lost 5 marvel. Jivanti also lost 5 marvels. So this is nothing but 45 minus x minus 5. Correct? This was the original marvel and from that 5 marvel they have lost. That is both of them lost 5 marble each. Fine. Now they are saying the product of the marbles they have now is 124. That is, if you multiply this number, the current number of marbles which John has with the current number of marbles which Jivanti has, you will get 124. So we will solve this. x minus 5 is the one which John has. And 45 minus x minus 5, I can write this as nothing but 40 minus x. Correct? 45 minus 5 is 40. So x minus 5 into 40 minus x, this is nothing but 120. That is what the question says. If you solve it further, you will get x into 40 is nothing but 40x. Correct? Then x into minus x is nothing but minus x square. Minus 5 into 40 is minus 200. Minus 5 into minus x is plus 5x. And that is nothing but 124. Now if you put this x square or you will get this as minus x square plus 5x plus 40x plus 45x. Right? Minus 200 and this will come this side. It's called minus 324 is equal to 0. Or the same thing I will put everything on the right side because minus x square doesn't look good to me. That becomes x square minus 45x plus 324 is equal to 0. So what is this? This is nothing but the equation in the form of x where x is nothing but this value that is marble John had in beginning. So if you see this is also one practical example of quadratic equation where we have to, we are, we are not asked to solve this question, we are just asked to solve, to represent this mathematically. So if you solve this quadratic equation, you will get the answer of the marble John had. We will learn how to solve this quadratic equation in the next few slides. But just to start with, we have learned how to represent the real life scenario in mathematical term. Let me repeat once again, the question says, John and Jivanti together had 45 marbles. So to start with, John had x and Jivanti had 45 minus x marble because if you add this you get 45. Then the question said that both lost 5 marbles. So after losing John had x minus 5 and Jivanti had 40 minus x marbles. Also the question says the product of the marble they have is 124. That is x minus 5 into 40 minus x equal to 124. And we solved this we got this equation that is x square minus 45x plus 324 is equal to 0. This is how we represented this real life scenario in the mathematical term and this is a quadratic equation we know. Why? Because this is of the form 
a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 where a is 1 b is minus 45 and c is plus 324 correct let's take one more example this also we have to represent mathematically the question says a cottage industry produces a certain number of toys in a day the cost of production of each toys in rupee was found to be 55 minus the total number of toys produced on that day on a particular day the total cost of production was 750 we would like to find how many toys were produced on that day so what let's suppose we'll assume see the question is find out the number of toys produced that day correct so we'll assume that number of toys produced but on that day is b x number of toys produced is x correct now since the number of toys produced is x now the cost is what the cost of the production of toy is nothing but 55 minus number of toys correct so cost per toy is nothing but 55 minus x this is what question is saying the question is saying a, a cottage industry produces a certain number of toys in a day we assume that certain number to be x and the question says the cost of production of each toy is 55 minus x so per toy is 55 minus x right on a particular day the total cost of production was 750 so if you see total cost of production if you use nothing but number of toys produced number of toys produced into we will multiply this by cost per toy correct see if you have 5 toy and for each toy if you are charging 10 rupees total cost is what 50 rupees 5 into 10 similarly here the total cost of production will be number of toys produced into cost per toy so what we will write here this is 750 is equal to number of toy produces x and the cost per toy is 55 minus x correct so let's solve this or 750 is equal to 55 x minus x square or we'll take x square this side i'll get x square minus 55 x plus 750 is equal to 0 where x is nothing but x is number of toys produced and this is also a quadratic equation if you see why because this is also of the form a x square plus b x plus c where a is 1 b is minus 55 and c is 750 and we can solve this how to solve this we'll learn later but just try to understand this is a real life scenario wherein it says that the industry produces certain number of toys in a day and the cost of production of each toy was 55 minus the number of toys produced so what we have done we have assumed that the number of toys produced was x on that particular day so the cost per day will be cost per toy will be 55 minus x so total cost is number of to toys produced into cost per day per toy that is x into 55 minus x and that value is 750 already given in the question thank you Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.